The side walls of radial ply tyres bulge where the tyre meets the road, making it difficult to estimate inflation pressure visually. It needs to be checked with an accurate tyre gauge. Using correct inflation pressures extends tyre life and is vital for safety. Side walls of an underinflated tyre flex too far, which pushes the centre section of the tread up and away from the road surface. This causes wear at the shoulders of the tyre. In an overinflated tyre, the side walls are straightened, which pulls the edges of the tread away from the road and causes wear at the centre of the tread. A tube type tyre uses an inner tube which provides an airtight container inside the tyre. A tubeless tyre is lined with a soft rubber layer to form an airtight seal. This inner liner also seals against small penetrations, letting air escape only relatively slowly. When a tubeless tyre is fitted, an airtight valve assembly is used. It can be a tight fit into the rim, or be held with a nut and sealing washers. A tyre and wheel assembly must be balanced. As the wheel rotates, centrifugal force acts outwards. Any part heavier than the rest will vibrate vertically, with the heavy area slapping the road surface with each turn of the wheel. This is called static unbalance. Dynamic unbalance causes the wheel assembly to turn inwards and then outwards with each half revolution. As speed rises, rapid side movement of the front wheels causes a sideways vibration or wheel wobble effect at the front of the vehicle. These conditions must be corrected to prevent cupping or dishing of the tread and reduced tread life. Tread life can also be reduced by incorrect wheel alignment. The feathered edge of this tyre indicates an incorrect toe setting. And wear on the one shoulder of this tyre could be due to incorrect camber setting. Most passenger car tyres have tread wear indicators moulded into the tread pattern. They generally provide an indication when the depth of a tyre groove falls to one and a half millimetres. Control of a vehicle in any weather conditions depends finally on frictional forces generated between the tyres and the road surface. On a dry road, a smooth rubber surface can provide a high coefficient of friction, sufficient to maintain a degree of control during braking, accelerating and cornering. In wet conditions, the coefficient of friction between a smooth tyre and the road surface falls to an extremely low value. Grooves in the tread pattern clear water away from the contact patch area. This allows a relatively dry area to be formed and for road adhesion to be maintained. 